it away. We might very well hide in the corner of the arena. And Brian Lloyd, I mean, he has shown himself to be amazing, an incredible competitor in any corporation he's wrestled in. He's brilliant. So we can throw tonight. And this sort of grudge match has really been similar. It's been really threatening to boil over for a long time. But these two go against each other one more time here. It's Ryan Lloyd and AJ Hughes. What a match in prospect here. Oh, goodness me. AJ, the master of mind games, just tags in Jay Shelley. And well, mind games here from AJ Hughes, the Fusion Pro Grand Champion. It's got to be said, you know, Anarchy were the tag team of the... Ah, oh, sorry. Anarchy are the tag team of the year 2018. They're a very dangerous combination. Individually, they're dangerous. But together, they're lethal. Ryan Lloyd. Oh, massive shoulder block from Shelley. Knocks down Ryan Lloyd. Comes off the ropes now. Oh, ducks him. Oh, wonderful. Oh, what a flying clothesline. Ryan Lloyd. Shelley misses with that attempt to clothesline. Atomic drop. Sizes him up. Oh, just a roundhouse kick to the front rounds of the face. Oh, Lloyd with that running European uppercut that he loves. Snap mail out of the corner. Sizing him up now. Oh, just a running thigh to the back of the head. That'll concussion one, two. Ooh, Shelly kicks out. But what a barrage here. Shots fired from Ryan Lloyd. He stays right on top of Jay Shelley in this. He's looking for the tag. He's got <laughs> quite some backing with uh, Matt Burns and G-Force in that corner. As Burns, oh! Big hit to the kidney. Jay Shelley in a bad place at the moment. Matt Burns. He's wrenching on that arm. Oh, Shelley though. And that's Anarchy. That's, oh look at this, oh no, the double team here. Oh look at this, look at Gorwick, my goodness, and Jay Shelley, they're absolutely laying into Matt Burns. Oh, just beating him like a red-headed stepchild. My goodness, drags him over to the corner, and look at the intelligence of Gorwick, making those quick changes. This is why these guys are so lethal. You know, they don't care about, they do care about the but they're such an effective team. Look at this, just getting under the skin. Of Roy Lloyd and G Force. AJ Hughes, oh, driving that elbow in and just choking him over that rope now. The Fusion Pro Grand Champion. Brutal, nasty. Really just a uh, remorseless sort of wrestling technique from AJ Hughes. Makes the tag for Jared Gorwick. Look at the size of Gorwick. He runns in. Oh, he's missed. Runs into the turnbuckle. And Matt Burns catches him with jabs. Jabs to the face and a, and a shot to the chin. Knocks him down, makes the tag. Roy Lloyd back in this one. Ooh, what a chop. What's this, what's Roy Lloyd got in mind? Ah, oh, it's a running European uppercut. Lloyd's here to fight. Manages to reverse that goal away. Oh, Roy Lloyd jumps over the top of him. Ducks under the clothesline goal away. Oh, my goodness, four shot to the back of the head. And that just flattened Roy Lloyd. Look at this from Gorwick, my goodness. Putting all of his weight across on that windpipe on that second rope. Jared Gorwick, ah, oh, listen to AJ Hughes ordering Gorwick to just get back on him. That rear headlock. Has he got him in the headlock? He's almost got him in the yeah, yeah, yeah. Really nasty technique there. Driving for him into just the ear and jaw back. Roy Lloyd firing back, European uppercut from Gorwick. Oh, jumping in Zaguri, catches him, goes for the cover. One, two, ooh, my goodness. Roy Lloyd had to dig deep to kick out of that. That barrage came so quickly. And Jared Gorwick grabs him by the legs, drags him back. And again, that intelligence of Jared Gorwick. He may be possessed and evil, but he's a thinking man. Oh, look at this. Oh, just drops away over the knee. Oh, that looked awful. That looks so painful. From Jay Shelley, nasty. Picks up Ryan Lloyd, has him in that turnbuckle. Big forearm shots to the chest, just knocking the air out of the lungs of Ryan Lloyd. And who's firing back here? Oh, just an open-handed slap. Wow, literally just slapping him. 
Oh, he's got him up on his shoulders. What's he going for here? This could be so dangerous. Oh, whoa, what a move from Jay Shelley. That could be Oshiro. One, two, oh. And look at the impact that had on Ryan Lloyd. And imagine how deep he just had to dig to kick out of that. That is incredible. Shelley just staying right on top of uh, Lloyd here. With that headlock, the Lloyd is firing back, just showing so much heart. Look at this big knee to the gut. He's been in the ring a long time here. They make a tag. AJ Hughes now, look at Gore getting those shots in. Roy Lloyd has to make the tag as soon as he can. He's in a bad place right now. AJ Hughes ducks in. Oh, back elbow from Roy Lloyd. Where did that come from? Oh, he blocks it. Lovely block from Roy. Oh, my. Oh, oh, my. Holy Lord, what a suplex. Here's a cover. One. That's all. Oh, how did he kick out of that? What a combination from the champion AJ Hughes. That is champion pedigree. Like him or love him, you can't argue with that wonderful series of moves. Culminating in that awesome German suplex. He almost won it with that. Oh, what's he going for here? Gets him in a double underhook position. Lloyd manages to squirm away. Back body drop from Roy Lloyd. <laughs> He is giving everything right, Lloyd. He is putting his soul on the line. Anything to beat AJ Hughes. Their rivalry has gone so far. Neither man willing to say uncle. This is incredible. How can either man make it back to make a tag? What is going to happen here? Lloyd makes a tag. It's G-Force. Oh, G-Force. Oh, G-Force just stood in the way. Oh, wonderful hit. From a man stronger than gravity. Oh, picks him up. Does he got? Yes! The black hole slam! The cover! One! Two! Oh, what a save from Gorwick! He had to just dive across the ring like a salmon. Incredible! Dogs underneath! Oh, he almost got the referee! Oh, the drop from Jay Shelley! He catches Ryan Lloyd! There's action all over the ring! Shelley misses with the clothesline! Catches G4! G4 with the black hole slam! Unbelievable! Oh, wait a minute! AJ Hughes! Oh, wonderful front kick! But wait a minute! Oh, he catches him. Oh, down goes AJ Hughes. Matt Burns catches him. But as he turns around, Gorwick with another kick to the face. Comes off the ropes. Catches him. Oh, he drops him on his face. <laughs> Everyone has died in this match. I don't know what is going on. Everyone is dead. That's the end of it. It's crazy. What a match we've got going on here. There's so much pride and ego. It's just absolutely brutal. Every man is giving his most. Gorwick back to his feet first. Runs in. Well, he goes to the opposite turnbuckle. Steams in. Massive forearm shots here from Gorwick. Oh, this time he misses. As Matt Burns. Oh, what a European uppercut. He's going to be missing teeth. Comes off the ropes. Oh, my. Holy Lord. What an impact. He rolls in. This could be all. One. Two. That is all. Oh, my. Holy Lord. What a match. Matt Burns picks up the win here for his team, G-Force and Ryan Lloyd. But incredibly, they've managed to beat the team of Anarchy and the champion, AJ Hughes. What a match, my oh, holy lord, I need to breathe that. That is incredible. Matt Burns, G-Force and Ryan Lloyd pick up the win. What a match we've seen here, folks. And there's still action happening all over the ring. It's still violent. What is going on here? Anarchy is still in the ring. It says it's not over yet. It looks like it's trying to... I don't know what's going to happen here. Excuse me, Pro Grand Rumble. And uh, this has been Manic. All three men here shaking hands. This team, this alliance of heroes standing up to the evil of Anarchy and AJ Hughes. AJ Hughes is, of course, still the Grand Champion. But winning here tonight, picking up the win, a massive psychological win with the team of G-Force, Matt Burns and Ryan Lloyd. What a match. Oh, they just, they don't care about anything. They just want to win. They'll beat anyone up in their way. Reinhardt. We don't know much about Reinhardt, truth be told. Um, he's here making his debut, I believe. So, uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what Reinhardt brings. As Dougie Matthews just getting a... Uh, Reinhardt's just taking a seat in the crowd, by the way. Matthews, and he, I mean, you know, 
Okay, how about we get some chairs and tables for these guys? Maybe a bed in the corner. Let them take their time, you know. We'll get them a cup of tea, maybe. And they can have their meeting, you know, in relative comfort. How about that? Look at this. How long are these guys going to take? You want to see some wrestling? Big Chambers taking so long to hype his man up. My goodness. He's the one who issued this challenge. You'd think he'd be ready to go. My heart stripped them ready to go here. Dougie Matthews still giving the crowd some jip. Finally, it looks like we might be approaching the start of this match. Which, to be fair, looks like it's going to be a cracker. Ryan Hart versus Dougie Matthews. They're all chanting Tiger, which is brilliant. I love it. Let's call him Tiger. His name is Ryan Hart, of course. Full on dragon twist. Turns around. Oh, yanks the arm. Tries to bring out a socket. Gets to the ropes, he does well there, Dougie Matthews. Under a bit of pressure there from my heart. Wow. Hollering elbow here. Let's do hook it up. Again, that full arm dragon twist. And Dougie Matthews once again, having none of that, just gets straight to the ropes, breaks it all the way up, and just goes for a walk. I can't blame him because at the moment Reinhardt really seems to have the measure of him uh, coming on top of both of those sort of uh, contests really. Look at this in Dougie Matthews, I think he needs to concentrate here, it's a bit of disrespect towards Reinhardt. Just uh, you know, join with the crowd, he wanted to be a bit more focused but well that's his style I guess. Oh, look at this disrespect from Dougie Matthews. Collar and elbow. Ah, oh, forearm shot from Dougie Matthews. Big hits to be fair. Massive hits. One hot. Ah, oh, snapping a takeover. Big kick between the shoulder blades there. And Reinhardt goes down and he's in pain. And that would seriously hurt. Side headlock here. Dougie Matthews. Not the most endearing people, but so effective in the ring. Massive shoulder block. Brings Tiger or Reinhardt down. Comes over. Looks underneath. Oh, look at this. Oh, just changed the running there. Crossbody midway catches him. Two count only. Reinhardt, massive drop kick. Absolutely rocking Dougie Matthews here. Oh, just turns him around. Face to the turnbuckle. Only oh, scratching the eyes. Oh, that's it's, it's horrible to see. It's effective, but it's horrible. Massive back elbow. Oh! Standing spinning wheel kick there from Dougie Matthews. So athletic. Precise measured kick that time. Another snap there takes him out. Like a diving European uppercut to the back of the head from Dougie Matthews. Obscenely talented wrestler. Just the attitude of a man who knows it, however. Ryan Hart up to his feet, but he's rocky. Just an open choke here. Look at that pressing the thumbs right into the neck. That is horrible to see. It's attempted murder right there. Look at this massive jabs here. Just right into the, the chest area. Big chop to the neck as well. And uh, trying to cut off the breathing. Take the breath out of the man again. Front headlock. Hooks the leg. Goes to the fisherman. Suplex. He hangs onto it with the bridge, that's beautiful. Oh, two count only. Excellent from Dougie Matthews. You've got to give him credit for that. You don't have to like the guy, but you've got to admire that wrestling ability. That's fantastic. Reinhardt did so well to kick out of that. Back elbow. Another. Just going for that side of the face and neck. I mean, that's going to hurt so much. That tricep coming down. Oh, massive. Just like a front face drop kick that time, right to the face and chest. Here's a couple. One, two. Reinhardt does really well now to kick out. It's one way traffic at the moment from Dougie Matthews. Big Chambers assistant. Now, Chanting Tiger, look at this, just forcing that neck down over that middle rope. So horrible. He won't be able to breathe for that entire time. The referee does get him to break it up. That's Dougie Matthews. Oh, massive open palm to the side of the head, the temple really. Here's an Irish rip into the opposite turnbuckle. Charges in, what a hit. What a hit from Dougie Matthews. 
And another Irish whip charges in once again. Another massive, soul breaking clothesline. Lariat strike there. And once more, Irish whip. Dougie Matthews casually charges in. Oh, Ryan Hunt gets the foot up. Oh, uh, Noah gets the foot up. Oh, my holy lord. It's like a standing head to take over from Reinhardt. Where did he pull that from? That's incredible. Charges in now. Oh, jumping knee strike. Oh, my holy lord. Back elbow for good measure. Comes off the opposite turn buckle. Oh, just a slap to the top of the head. Snap there. Rolls him through. Reinhardt comes off the ropes. Oh, jumping crossbody. Here's a cover. One, two, door. Oh, Dougie Matthews had to dig so deep to kick out of that. What offense there from Reinhardt. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, Dougie Matthews breaks that up. What? Exchanging forearm shots here, these two. Both men forget the technical wrestling. How about just clubbing each other in the head? My goodness, look at this. And Dougie Matthews seems to gain the upper hand through that as Reinhardt drops down to one knee. Comes off the ropes. Oh! Oh! T Bone Suplex! Holy Lord! One, two! Oh, how is this match not over? That is incredible! Oh, he absolutely dropped him into that wonderful T-Bone suplex. Incredible from Reinhardt. You can see the effect it had on Dougie Matthews. The human body just wasn't designed to take that European uppercut from Matthews. Oh, what a clothesline. If Reinhardt still remembers who he is, I'll be impressed. One, two. Oh, he kicked out. How? How did Tiger, as the crowd call him, Reinhardt, how did he kick out of that? My holy lord. Uh, what does Dougie Matthews have to do? I've got to give the guy credit. He's come up here. He's given you all the bad attitude in the world. Complete and total disrespect. But well, my goodness, he's an excellent wrestler. He's going... Oh, the super cat into the driver. There's a couple. One, two. Oh, Reinhardt picks up the win. That is an incredible victory from Reinhardt. <laughs> oh, yes, what do you make of this? I mean, so much has happened in this show already, it's been crazy. But here we've got Creeper and Leon Hunter going head to head. Tell That's us right. Think. Well, I'd say Creeper has been undefeated, he's been unpinned. He's a monster man, you know. He is a monster, I mean, look at the size of him. Well, he's not for anyone the size of Leon Hunter. That's I mean, point. Leon Hunter's a big guy himself. He's really as high as Creeper. Yeah, that's know, right. Tall, should they say. And as I was just mentioning, I mean, he's got an actual MMA background. Yeah, if anyone can actually pin this man or even make him submit it's going to be Leon it's Hunter it's going to be Leon Hunter these two come to stalemate neither man able to push the other away of course uh, the last show we saw uh, a brand new wrestling faction put together by Harley Hudson herself yep. uh, where she managed to convince Leon Hunter to join the faction so they are the pro wrestling revolution pro wrestling revolution we've heard all about them they could have the future now. they're the future they are the future oh, look at this Cheap from Creeper, and you can tell that management style has come from Dick Chambers, hasn't it? Definitely. You I mean, know, from the day he first came to Fusion League two years ago to now, he was a completely different way. Well, was quite a different man. Yeah. Not completely different, but quite different. No, it's real things. He was always intimidating. He was always scary, terrifying. But it's his, it's his sort of in ring now now that Dick Chambers is brought Yeah, he's cocky, he's arrogant. He's cocky and arrogant, absolutely. He's always been a scary man when you look at him. Oh, look but at that from Leon Hunter. Gives him one back. I've got your number, he says. 479-036. That's it. It's an odd number, but it does get you through to Creeper. Don't try and dial it. Don't dial it, you'll get Creeper. Is he going for a test of strength here? That's insane, now. That's insane. It? He could break his hand. Would you do that? No. I like my hands. I think everyone likes their hands. Yeah, no one wants to have Creeper rip their hands off. What would you do with them? I thought maybe he collects them like Creeper's Creepers. Maybe he puts them on a wall in some sort of weird way. Maybe he wears them on weekends. As gloves? Yes. People's hands. Maybe he makes elaborate jokes about giving people a hand. Oh, maybe he does. Look at the power between these two. No, I don't think so. I can't imagine Creeper making a joke, can you? Not one that I'd be... Look at this power! What, to lap it? No. Oh, <laughs> Tooms, look at this. Look. This is incredible. Look at him bending back those hands. I've never seen Creeper put that oh, as I say that though. Creeper, fight back. Oh, that upper body strength, unreal. Oh, just trying to energize Leon Hunter, he's back his feet. 
Oh my goodness, look at this. You know what, I've not seen the Foster's Trophy in wrestling in years. No, me neither. Normally it's the Jeep shop. Ah, oh, Reaper just trying to get some headbutts oh, in. Oh, to the chest. Wow, big stiff shots. Massive strikes from Creeper. He has not looking so well anymore. No, big strikes. Oh, huge back elbow there. Creeper really making a mark. What a change of pace from our opener here. We've slowed it down. We're having headbutts. Oh, oh, wow. Some heavy hitting brawling going yeah. on. Yeah. I mean, these two perfect head for the speedy and right off. I mean, there's no question about that. Yeah, some of the most agile and uh, athletic wrestlers in wrestling. Hunter's not looking well already. No. What can you expect it? Is he with the creeper? Well, yeah. And, you know, oh. oh, wait a minute. Dick Chambers. Chambers with a cheap shot there. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, Hunter. Oh, my gosh. He's Mounted spikes here. I think he just upset the guy yeah. hitting him. Dick Chambers didn't hurt him at all. He just he just angered him. Never poke an angry man, Nelson. No, never. Never, never poke an angry man. I learned never. that from you. Really? Yeah. I'm not so. I don't poke you again anymore. No. You are my bear. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I never anger you. When you're hungry or when you're sleeping. Never. No. And Creeper's not wanting to get back in the ring now. No, I can't blame him because he's got an angry bear in the middle of the ring. Oh, no, he's he to get an angry bear. There's a real animalistic tone to this match now with an angry bear in the ring and a skeleton. A skeleton. A skeleton. A skeleton chicken. Put into this crowd. Oh, man. Hunter, look at this. Leon Hunter has no fear. He's being too fierce. He's bins and he's got the skeleton chicken here. Oh, it's going down after it! Oh, wait a minute! Oh! oh. Leon Hunter! Dick Chambers is over there! No, I don't blame him for that. No, I'd be out there as well. I would, oh, a big hit from Creeper! Oh, he's big knee strike to the it. face! Oh. My holy lord, he just kneed him in the face! I don't want to get kneed in the face! His face is nearly 17 in the air! What's this? Oh, he's sat down! Oh no! Oh! What a job! There's nipples on the walls! Everywhere after that, they, they, they exploded. Everywhere. You do not want to chop from Leon Hunter. One more time. Oh, oh and that's another set of nipples. Set of nipples. I've got several sets of nipples, and probably from my sets have gone as well just watching this. Yep. Oh, big strike. Oh, look at these big forearms here for Creeper. What's he going for there? I was trying to force him back into the ring, but he wasn't going for Oh my goodness, he slammed him into the ring so hard, the ring is actually shaking. I didn't move the ring. I did, right? That's insane for Creeper. That's not good. No, that is so bad for your spine. Back to the ring. What's he going for here? Oh, oh my holy lord! He that just shows the strength of Creeper, did not like they? Oh, he a big guy like him. I mean, look at this, why is Griffith going for here? Oh, just a double strike to the chest. Well, no one wants that. No, not if you want to breathe. No, no. Snap there, take over. Griffith oh, comes off the rope. Oh! oh. And kicks him, kicks him in the face. Kicks him in the face, right? Just kicks him straight in the face. He's going for a cover here. One, two, two only. Hunter manages to kick out. That's it, two. What sort of conditioning do you need to stay in a match like this with Griffith? Just don't get into it in the first place. That's, that's wisdom that's there. The best, that's the best conditioning. That's wisdom. Mental conditioning. Right? Mental, psychological conditioning. Don't be stupid enough to enjoy match with people. You need to learn to lift, but lift emotionally. Yeah, look at this. Look at that rear. Oh, my goodness. That camel clutch has just got it. Look at the forearm right across the window. Is that illegal? Is it it? Oh, he's here. Oh. Can you get No, I think, I think he was still responding. He's riding around like a... Half dead worm. Someone the size and weight of Cooper sitting on your back and pulling your neck up. I mean that that could really, really hurt. Creeper in complete control right now. What is he going for here? Oh my holy lord! He's on the middle row! Creeper! Oh he's missed! Oh! Oh my holy lord! There's gonna be earthquakes in Australia from the shockwaves from that! That is insane! Creeper just missed with that elbow off the middle row, Mason Toons. Big knee strikes here from Leon Hunter. Manages to get up to his feet. What's he going for here? Oh my goodness! Oh! Scoop it's like slam! slamming Andre all over again. But better because these two can wrestle. And this has got all his hands, but that's okay. Yes. We don't need 70,000 pounds. We 
you just need Holly head and we've got it right here. Yeah. Hunter, oh, bitch. Kick to the stunner, he's going for the stunner. Oh, manages to push him away. Ducks under that one too. Hunter, goes behind. He's going for a German suplex. Oh, what on earth? Who the heck has the power to German suplex the creeper? Who is Leon Hunter? This man right here. He's Superman. The upper body strength needed to lift. Look at the state of Creeper. He could be dead. That could be. Yeah, it looks like Creeper could be Leon's prey tonight. I've never seen Creeper manhandled in this way before. Ever, ever, ever. Absolutely insane action here. Fusion Pro, Uncivil War. You better believe it's an Uncivil War. Hunter now. He's got on his shoulders. Oh, Creeper managed to kick his way out of it. Oh, again, straight to the lower back. You know these power wrestlers, they need their back to lift. And if you can't lift him, then what's he going to do? That's a lot of his offense gone, isn't it? I mean, you could say that Hunter can fall back on his strikes and kicks. Even if his back's hurting, how's he going to lift his leg for that? Creeper, really intelligent here. Real strategy. You've got to say how much of that is dictated us. I think a lot of it is the strategy. That's the key. Yeah, absolutely. The they, that's all creeper. they seem to have uh, Hunter well sculpted at the moment. He's sinking him up here. What's he going for? Ah, oh, blocked. Leon Hunter's blocked that. Oh, I thought he was there, but he's Oh, what? My goodness. Over. He manages to reverse the suplex there. Leon Hunter, where's he getting this from? Will he go for the cover? He will. One. Two. Oh, shoulder up from Creeper. Shoulder up. Both men have displayed so much heart in this match. It's unreal. And they're just on their knees now. Massive hit. Oh, massive return hit. I mean, in the arena you can hear these guys hitting. Back and forth. Massive, massive forearm shots. Oh, double-handed chop there. Massive chop from Hunter. Big kick to the middle of the center again, maybe. No. European up got that time. These two just exchanging exchange blows now. You know what? I've never seen either man just so tired. No, I've never and seen that. And they're just like leaning on each other. Both men going for the. Oh, wow. Double down, Nelson. Double down. Can we get a double count out? Maybe. I would be surprised. Look at the both are giving it everything. Did think might be tempted to stay down here because he's not looking so well? And he would retain his unpinned, unsubmitted record that if he just takes the double DQ. After look to his credit, he's getting to his feet. Both men to their credit are getting to their feet. I think Absolutely. neither one knows where they are. It's just instinct at this point. Oh, oh my wow, holy look! He's going for the choke slam. Tombs! Creeper! Wait, it's funny. Oh! I think he what? His fingers. He just pulled his fingers apart! How's he gonna make tea tomorrow? Hey, Big kick! Stunner! Oh my god! The guy with the stunner! Two, this match is nuts! Can he do this? One! Two! Oh! Dick Chambers! Dick Chambers pulling out the referee! Dick Chambers just pulled the referee out of the ring! Oh, Leon Hunter had this match won! Oh, he got him by the beard! He got him by the beard! Oh, wow! Oh, I think he's folded in two is Dick Chambers. Dick Chambers is in like an origami shape on the floor right now. Ancient Japanese art of folding Dick Chambers. Yeah. It's alive and well here at Hollywood. Oh, wow! Creeper begging oh. off with the low blow! The equaliser! Oh, the old prettier! Oh, my goodness! That's gotta be That's, it. Gotta be. That's disgusting! Oh, that is disgusting! That's an awful... Oh. No, no, no. That leaves an awful taste in the mouth because Dick Chambers' interference has turned the finish of this match around. Leon Hunter had this match in the bag. He delivered that stunner. It was over. Dick Chambers pulled the referee out. Absolutely disgusting. He's all about the strikes. He's got big power moves when he wants them. 
Oh, Stone just spat that 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 special brew right in the face of a uh, Teague. Teague won't like that. One boost to Jack Thorne just getting right involved, shrouding off. Just that good book slams into the back of Brian Stone. Oh, Jack Thorne's so dangerous, brother Jack Thorne. It's no DQ, so they can do this. Oh my goodness, what has Brian Stone let himself in for here? What a start to this match. Look at this beat down here from Pastor Everett Teague. And just an open choke here. And the ref can't do anything about it. It's, a, it's in his very nature to want to get involved. But it's no DQ. Brother Jack Thorne. Oh, look at this. Just just slapping the head of... Ah, uh, just... This just disrespect here from Pastor Everett Teague. Brother Jack Thorne just putting the hits oh, on Brian Stone's face. Stone, the CCW Wash. Uh, sorry, no, the Super 8 champion. Oh, massive side slam. Everett Teague, jumping elbow there from Jack Thorne. It's two on one, it's a handicap match. It's a handicap match with no DQ right now. Look at this, just big hits to the top of Brian Stone's head. How is Stone going to even walk after this, let alone. I don't know what he's going to do here. I mean, he's completely outnumbered. <clears throat> the referee can't help him in any way. There's no tactical advantage to be had from getting into the ropes or anything. There's no rope breaks. I mean, look at this. Teague just forcing the ref to back away while Brother Jack Thorne puts those shoulders in. And Teague just carries right on with those shoulders. Look at that. He's like a ball charging in there. Stone shaking and dazed in the corner, just trying to muster himself. Oh, he blocks the punch though. Wow, look at this from Brian Stone. He blocks Jack Thorne, big hits for him. Both of them in the corner now, big strike, big kick. Irish Whip sends Jack Thorne into the opposite corner, charges in Brian Stone. Oh, massive. Oh, massive drop kick. He loves those arrow like drop kicks. Another one for Brother Jack Thorne. This is brilliant from Brian Stone. Big hit to the midsection. What's this? Oh, he looked at Yes, he got it. The elephant stone. That's this finisher. And wow, maybe that might equalize things a little bit here. Brother Jack Thorne laid out. Incredible comeback here. Oh, he's got that guitar. Oh, my goodness. Why is there a guitar or ringside? Whose is that? Oh, he just clubbed him on the back with it. That's a real guitar. <laughs> my holy lord. Why is there a guitar ringside? Stone just holding him open and just lets one of the crowd hit him. Oh, big chop from that lad. He's got to make a wrestler out of that lad for sure. Everett Teague might have Jack Thorne in his corner, but Brian Stone has the entire crowd here. Clan for Feckham hitting that head off the ring apron. Brian Stone has done brilliantly to turn this match around. It's only a minute ago I was asking how he was going to walk. Look at this. Fighting over to the merchandise table. Oh my good. Look at that. He just bent that tray around his head. He just bent that metal tray around his head. He's going for the cover. One, two. Two count only. It is so alien to see a cover here on the floor by the entrance to, these, to this hall. But it's completely legal in this match. This uh, Salford Street Fight. For the CCW World Championship. That's the title that's on the line here. It's a title that's come through from our, our previous iteration as Comedy County Wrestling, CCW. We are Fusion Pro Wrestling. Look at this, he's got the guitar tee. Oh, just slams it right into the midsection of Brian Stone. Got words for the crowd, Pastor Ever Teague. He is the reigning and defending. CCW Welsh Champion, massive hits. Look at that rocking Brian Stone. And just marches him all the way over, slams him into that wall. Stone doesn't know where he is right now. It's champion versus champion here. Super 8 Tournament Champion, Brian Stone. The Salford Submission Machine. Oh, ducks under that clothesline from Teague. Oh, look at this, that chicken wing. 
That cross face. Oh, he's mounted him as well. Oh, my holy lord. He's got it locked. And Teague's in big trouble here. There's no rope breaks. How do you get out of that maneuver? That is crazy. Stone did brilliantly. Oh, Teague. Great awareness to slam Stone into that wall. And he manages to loosen him off. Brilliant stuff from both men that time. Look at the effect that chicken wing had on Pastor of Teague. He's got those braces off. And what's he going for here? Oh, he's just wrapped it around his neck. And it's just a blatant choke here. There's no wrestling finesse in this whatsoever. Oh, Stone having to dig deep to fight back. He can't breathe, but he's getting those hits in. And oh, Teague's gone outside. Oh, dear. This is degenerating quickly now. Oh, Brian Stone. He's laying the boots to Teague. Where are they going here? What on earth? That's a bin. Oh, he just hit his head into a bin. Past River and Teague. Oh, just slamming that head off that massive bin. Oh, but he turns it around and slams. Oh, he's put his head in. He's put Stone in the bin. What is going on? This is ridiculous. Brian Stone. Oh, Teague just running away now. Where is he going? He's running all the way around. And Stone's in chase. They're outside the arena here. They're just they're fighting through North Wales. Clanfair Feckin. Big hit. Massive forearm shot from Brian Stone. Look at these. They're out on the street, for goodness sake. There's traffic. This is so dangerous. These two are just fighting down the street here. What, what on earth? They're just... I don't... Where are they going? He's got him in a side headlock, Brian Stone. He's charging him round. There's a cash machine. That's somebody's car, for goodness sake. Referee trying to get them back into the ring. Side headlock, Brian Stone. Ah, oh, it's anything goes here. False count anywhere. Could drop a pin on him right there and it would count. Back in through the main entrance here. Back in towards Clamford Feckin Town Hall. Oh! Who was that? Yes, it was Jack, brother Jack Thorne there. Just cut Brian Stone off with that good book again. Just slamming him in the back. And that is the danger that Brian Stone has to face here. He's done brilliantly to just stay in this match. But brother Jack Thorne here. The odds are always going to be in Pastor of Teague's favour. Stone blocks that. Oh, just shoves him into that ring post. Twice. And into that apron as well. Oh, a guitar to the back. Is that a guitar or ukulele? I'm not sure. It's big and it's wooden. Brian Stone having to dig so deep here. He wants that prize. He wants to be the CCW World Champion. He wants to take that title off past River Teague. Teague with a lovely, just little strikes in the midsection. Oh, he's got that chicken wing though. He ducked under the clothesline, puts a chicken wing right on that entranceway. The whole crowd can see it. It's They're in such a dangerous place there. They're about four feet off the ground oh big strike to the midsection no he's going for the elephant stone he's going for the elephant stone oh Teague manages to wriggle his way out of it big strikes here up on the entrance way both men coming down the stairs and into the into the, the post goes Brian Stone and Teague just takes a moment just to take a breather here on the front row my goodness can't blame him such a heavy hitting match this they've been fighting all around this arena outside the arena in the street absolutely crazy absolutely crazy he's got that guitar again playing some deep south Mississippi Delta blues on that pastor over at Teague is lining him up and this is so dangerous for Brian Stone oh my goodness look at that what a hit from that guitar. It's not one of those powder puff guitars that just cracks if you breathe near it. That's a proper guitar. Goodness me. Stone just thrown into the ring here. T follows him back in. Big strikes to the face. From Pastor over at Teague. Big stomp. And yeah, I have to say Teague is in his element here. He loves brawling. He loves fights. He loves punching. He's up on that middle rope. He's going for that patented praying elbow drop. As it is, that double strike one. 
to oh goodness me Brian Stone having to give everything to stay in this match right now self as a mission machine he's gone for that chicken wing twice already he's going for that submission he's gonna he's, he looks he must be going for the TKO because there's no sp oh what a slam one two oh what a kick out incredible heart here from Brian Stone took a mammoth slam then what is T going for here you can see the effect that this match has had on Teague barely able to stand, barely able to walk what's he going for? oh my goodness he's managed to find a kendo stick here and this match, if it wasn't ugly enough, just got a little bit uglier Stone really needs to turn around because stalking him at ringside right now past River and Teague <laughs> Kendo stick. Oh my goodness. Oh, Stone cuts him off at the last minute. Goes for that double underhook. He's looking for the elephant stone. Oh my holy lord, he's got it. Oh, what is he going for here? Oh, what? The fool's gold with that kendo stick. That is barbaric. Oh, he's tapping out. Faster over in Teague taps. To that modified fool's gold from Brian Stone. Stone is the new CCW World Champion. Oh my holy lord, what a way to win this. That is incredible. There's the belt and there's the new champion. I can't believe we've seen Pastor Over and Teague dethroned here. Brian Stone had no right to win this. He was outnumbered. It was a Salford Street fight. No DQ, false count anywhere. Somehow he's managed to overcome all of that. Incredible. What a victory here, that kendo stick under the neck, absolutely brutal. What a victory here for the new champion, the double champion, Super 8 champion, CCW Welsh champion, Brian Stone. Fantastic, incredible that he's managed to beat Pastor Everett Teague, who's been one of the most dominant champions. Wow, this match after an impromptu start then. I'll be honest, <laughs> I need the subtitles for a lot of that, but what I got was that this match has now got an added stipulation as Jay Shelley puts the boots in. Look at this. Both members of Anarchy here just laying into Kill Loco. If Loco loses this match, he cannot challenge for the tag team titles ever again, but if he wins, he will have a shot at AJ Hughes' Grand Championship. Well. I, I'm pretty sure I also heard something about revenge. Um, look at this from Kusikas. Just absolutely brutal. Look at this. This is his former, his friend, his tag team partner. Look at the knees he's putting into him. Where does his hatred come from from Crimson Chaos? Was he always this way underneath? Who knows? You know, he, maybe he was just fooling all of us with the good guy shtick. The local gets that reverse elbow in, he's on the top rope. Oh my holy lord, corkscrew planter off the top rope. That is unreal from Fakir. Loco. One, two, ooh. Almost earned himself revenge and a title shot with that pin. Well, explosive start to this. Emotive start is what a clothesline from Fakir Loco. And another one. Damn near took his head off there, Crimson. Oh, he picks him up. Ooh, lovely head scissors takeover all the way around. And Loco's on fire here. Oh, lovely. Wonderful. Clothesline that almost cut straight through him that time. Goes for the... Oh, lovely. Sunset flip into a leg drop. Beautiful from Bikino Loco. One, two. Two count only. Crimson Chaos. I would say he doesn't know what's hitting, but he knows him very well. These two attack team partners. Big knee strike. Rising knee strike from Crimson Chaos. Wow. Just he's turned on the fans as well. That's the thing I don't understand. These are the people that cheered him. They were happy for his success. I don't understand why he hates him all of a sudden. Big snapmare takeover from Chaos. Oh, just, just 
massive kick right to the spine. You can hear the impact reverberate around this arena as well here in Tihapolis. Clandino, my goodness, another one. Crimson Chaos, oh, just disrespect oozing from Crimson Chaos. Loco, just on the receiving end of a barrage here. Crowd chanting for Loco. Jay Shelley parading those belts at ringside. Look at this from Chaos. Massive scoop slam. Right in the middle of the ring. He slowed things down successfully here. Crimson Chaos. He's taking it at his own pace. Running, jumping, elbow right to the midsection. Here's a cover. One, two. Ooh. Well, it was a good cover, but just couldn't keep the legs down from Loco. Well, so much riding on this match. If Loco were to somehow win this. Well, he earns himself a title shot with the biggest prize in Fusion Pro Wrestling, the Fusion Pro Grand Championship. But if somehow he loses, if somehow it goes against him in this match, which, let's be honest, it could. With Anarchy out here, you just never know as he drives him into that ring opening. If he does lose this, he will never again be allowed to challenge for the tag team. But... Oh... Crimson Cats just tore that sign of that young girl at ringside. That is horrendous. <sighs> Loco kicks out. I mean, you know, if you want to cheat in wrestling, fine. But you don't have to be a, a, a horrible human being. Sheesh. Anakin really are just the lowest. The lowest of the low. He's up on a second turn, but just strikes to the back of the head here on Loco. And Loco's just there taking it. Oh! Wait a minute, he's got him up. Oh my goodness, holy lord, what a powerbomb. One, two, two count only. Crimson Chaos does well to stay alive, let alone stay in the ring. Jeez, Mark, what a powerbomb from the King of Loco. Just cannot count him out. Both men now, just trying to remember where they are, I think. Crimson Chaos, the problem is, I mean, Chaos is an excellent wrestler. As is Jay Shelley. As is AJ Hughes. I mean. Oh, just throws him into that middle turn buckle. And that's what I'm talking about. Great ring awareness there from Crimson Chaos. Sinks him up there. Puts his head up. Puts him in. Oh, just a tight suplex. Does he hold on to it? He does. That's actually brilliant from Crimson Chaos. That's excellent. Sinks him up for a second one. Oh, brilliant. Is he going for a third? He is. He manages to... Keep it synced on, this this rolling suplex. Oh, but Loco managed to hold his momentum there. It's brilliant from Loco. Oh, it reverses it. Fantastic. Incredible stuff from Kino Loco. The heart needed to, to do that. And the, the physical requirements, the toll that would have taken. Incredible from Kino Loco. Crimson Cage. Sorry, Crimson Chaos. My apologies change man now oh just the, the flat of the foot against the side of the head there just uh, very deliberate very methodical from chaos Irish foot reverse from Kino Loco though manages to hold it off oh lovely flying head scissors there from Kino Loco sends him right oh you know what he's looking for here comes in oh wonderful 619 catches him with both feet in the face and that could be all she wrote. If Loco can get back to his feet and see the position that Chaos is in, he could go for the pin. Oh, what is Loco going for here? Chaos riding around in the ring like some sort of octopus. Chaos. Oh, he's in trouble here. Shelley's up on the apron though. Jay Shelley just trying to get involved here. Pequeno Loco doesn't see Cage running in. Oh my holy lord! Wow! just caught him with it wasn't even a suplex it just just like a back body drop off the top rope my goodness loco could be severely injured now here's a cover one two oh that was so close that was a millisecond jay shelly getting involved in again on this but wait a minute look at the entrance way that's aj hughes with the kendo stick Wow, what's going on? All three members of Anarchy, well, sorry, everyone apart from Lilith is here. He's got that 
kendo stick. Referee takes it out of his hand. Good on you, ref. Oh, Loco with a kick to the midsection. Oh, my goodness. That rolling neck breaker. Here's a cover. One, two. Oh, pick it. A Loco picks up the victory. And look at AJ Hughes' face. Fikino Loco gets one over his old tag team partner, the Betrayer, Crimson Chaos. That is an incredible victory here from Crimson uh, from Chaos. He wishes from Fikino Loco. Crowd chanting C, but one fears that his work isn't over here because all three members of Anarchy are getting into the ring right now. And Loco, oh, just. Oh no. And this is what we feared with Anarchy. Whenever the three of them are together, it's always danger for their opponent. And Pequeno Loco is in real trouble right now. Oh my goodness, that wrenching. Oh, that is awful. Look at the state of Pequeno Loco right now. He has earned himself a title shot, but at what cost? AJ Hughes will be the man he will fight. Look at this. He's going for that. He's bringing that kendo stick in again. Oh, this is awful. This is awful. What is he? Where's he going with this? AJ Hughes just holding him for Crimson Chaos. To, wow! Kendo stick to the back. That is awful. That is nasty. That is uncalled for. Crowd firmly telling Crimson Chaos that he sold out. He did sell out. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. The photographer here has just taken the kendo stick off Crimson Chaos. That's the source. But we need low blow for Kino Loco. That's brilliant. He's got the kendo stick. And look at them right now. Oh, my goodness. What a strike to the lower back of Crimson Chaos. Jay Shelley scarpering. AJ Hughes is out of the ring like a flash. Joey Marcus looks happy to be in the ring. But no. Going for the lock up and then he's big. Oh, oh just kicks him on his feet. That's where the force comes in. Big stomp there. there. Joey Makes Marcus didn't corner. know what hit him there. Well, none big of us know him. Oh, he's just choking him. And you know what? The referees are telling him to back off, but he didn't. Yeah, he didn't really need to. There's no big, 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 big punch that had them. I certainly wouldn't want one of them. He's trying to push him off, but. Oh, you can see her ropes bending around his body. Oh, right, you won't need to eliminate him, he's just going to kill him. Oh, and you know Dick Chambers with a big hit, I suppose that's not against the rules. It is not against the rules at all, Mason The rules have gone out the window. Any advantage must be taken. And he is taking it. And here's Ashton Lover, another member of distinction. With his spanking stick. <laughs> with his spanking stick. So who's going to get spanked in this match, is he? <laughs> Everyone, no everyone, hopefully not G4. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If he wants to break his stick, he could do. Oh. The yeah. Irish whip there into the turnbuckle. The force of that, and he just wants to have a sleep right there. And oh. here's Magic Raymond! Magic Raymond's here! Magic Raymond's here. Look, Perhaps he'll do a magic trick for us. Let's have it. Man. And magic trick and win. <laughs> and then we'll G Force has seen him. Oh, oh big <laughs> slap. Well, goodbye, Magic Raymond. <laughs> goodbye. It, was, it was nice to know. Here's G Force slaps him in the head. Oh. Big flips to the back. Joey Marcus there with uh, Ashton Lover. It's uh, oh, big a new, another debut for us. Yeah, oh, Jake Chambers. Jake Chambers. This is obviously because he's the uh, rumours have it as the son of uh, Jake Chambers. Uh, yeah, whether those are true, I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out in the next uh, next show or next year, maybe. And it's Luke Davis. Luke Davis without the hoodie. Without his hoodie. Without his hoodie. His famous hoodie. It's going straight for. The Chambers. Oh, a big kick on G-Force. And Luke, Luke Davis, obviously we saw him in action early in a dark match. Which he was successful. He was successful indeed. Pastor Everett Teague making his way to the ring. Yes, yeah, the pastor. Looking to, to win back. Looking at the pastor. And there's his mate, Jack Thorne. And they both in together. Good grief. Excuse me. Jack Thorne, I'm waiting for Jack Thorne. It's not by a team in here, so... 
Well, we've got multiple teams here. Here's oh, Leon Hunter. Leon Hunter's already arrived. Big oh. man, Leon Hunter. Wouldn't and want look, to mess with him. two big men against each other. G-Force goes straight forward. We don't know who to go. Oh, big look. strikes there. Oh, rocking G-Force. Oh, the big Ooh. line. And there's uh, Pastor Everett T getting Jack Thorne to do his day to it. Welsh Dragon Welsh Dragon CCW Legend Welsh Dragon oh, special surprise special Edmonton surprise wow. Welsh Dragon wow didn't expect him to be here okay. Jake, Jake Chambers is not in a good way at all showdown of G4 some Welsh Dragon did you get to see that in CCW we did not no I don't recall it happening no see yeah. CCW reunion right here and not a pleasant one and Dougie Matthews is here. Was that? Did we just see Joey Marcus? No, I don't no, think he I, did. I, I believe he went through the bottom route. Okay, 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 I think fair, he's fair. still in. It. Although they have announced that he's been eliminated, we'll, we'll try and clarify now with yeah. with the officials. I think he's going to be allowed back into the ring. Oh. Chambers, big strikes there on Welsh Dragon. Big strike there on Jack Thorne from Juice Morgan World. Morgan here arrives the ring. And we've got Dougie Matthews in the ring as well. Dougie Matthews. Get in. Surprise! We've got the full, apart from from Creeper, almost all of distinction now in in the ring. Is it more than sizing up who he's going to take on here? James, James Reed. Reed, another debut for us. Oh, big geez. strikes there from James Reed straight to Dougie Matthews. He knew exactly who he was going for. Oh, straight away. Oh, big he reds had. here. Looks as if everyone's joining in to get. G-Force and G-Force is out oh, he was team effort to team effort and likely alliances mixing teams G-Force is not happy oh and look at look at Chambers you. is out J J is, is Jake Chambers gone as well J I didn't see that happen big red threw him out like he was nothing oh could Morgan be going as well he's looking like he's fighting it big kick there from Pastor Everett that, that actually name. took him out completely Magic Raymond is still in the mix. And look at these. Raymond Reed say, taking turns on, on, on Leon Hunter. Do you reckon we these pair to Team of the Future? Who knows? And ah, oh, Magic Raymond's unfortunately Ryan, out. Ryan Myatt's turned up in a hat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's wearing Pastor Everett Teague's hat. Does Teague know? I don't think so. I don't know. I think him and Thorne are too busy getting beaten up. Yeah. Oh, could he be going? I thought this could be Teague time, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Distinction members, Joey Mark, uh, not Joey Marcus, apologies, oh. Dougie Matthews and Ashton Lover. Big strike there. And Pastor Everett teams out. It's Jack Thorne still in, though. Thorne's still in. Oh, he's unraveling like a mummy, though. Oh. Big kick there from James Reed. He's got, he's got Dragon in the corner. Been out of action for a few years now, uh, as Dragon. Jack oh, Thorne's out. Thorne goes. Big Red's got a bit of a swagger going on there. Yeah, look at him swaggering around. He definitely thinks he's a king of the ring. I mean, he could potentially be a favourite at this point. He's got a hat. It's just he doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. No hats for me, thank you. Who, who doesn't pick up a hat and doesn't put it on? Oh, Big Red. Monster, yeah. Oh. Big strikes there. And Ryan Mike is out. Ryan Mike, Big Red got him out as well. Dougie Matthews is out. Dougie Matthews just went. Is yeah. this... Lover going as well? Oh no, 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 no. Looks as if Jack Thorne's just got the hats back. Oh, well, you know, they're going out after this, so they do need their hats. There's a stare down here between Mouse Dragon and Big Red. What's going to happen? Ashton Lover clearly getting out of the way. He wants none of it. Who can blame him? And Reed, he's, he's looking quite hurt there. Oh, they're pushing each other. Ashton Lover getting out of the way now. Smart, just smart moves. Oh. Oh, and a big slam down. there. Straight back up, though. Look at him. Oh. The ring isn't broken after tonight. I have no idea how it will be broken. New boards, please. New oh. boards. Huge insecurity. Big kicks there to Welsh Dragon. You know, he's, he's bread and weed. We've been working with as a team here, aren't we? Joey Mark is still in. He was one of the first in was yeah, well, second, in. second in so he's and been he's, in this whole time he's, he's doing very good here oh, and there's Welsh Dragon out that was Dragon's gone he must have wanted the chance just to be that, that CT Lane champion that he never got during his run oh and here we go we've got an alliance between these pair Dick Chambers protecting Ashton Lover there oh. kick to the, the lower stomach there by Ashton Lover big forearm oh and they've turned against him They've obviously got their sights on this guy. Well, as we knew, 
Big Red was a part of distinction at one point. Well, he was certainly uh, a member, uh, a standing member at least. Well, yes. So uh, now he's turning his well, turning his back against distinction. Maybe uh, an alliance now with with Reed. Oh, just ducks it off his feet. You know, there's no friends in this uh, in this match. Well, well, we've obviously got two right here. We've got two right apart here. Apart from that, there's no friends. <laughs> All the rest of the distinction, all Jack Thorne and Ask Gravity. Not friends. No, not friends. Not friends. Not Acquaintances. Friends. Yeah. Yeah. As such. Oh, I Reed know. here trying to get rid of Aston Lever. Dick Chambers pleading to keep oh, pushing back in. And Big Red's oh, turning. Oh, Big Red's turning. See, I told you there's no friends. No friends. Oh. Yeah. Joey Marcus. Oh, uh, Reed's, Reed's back in. He, he, Joey Marcus and Ashton Lever. And they've got Big Red out. Oh, big Enziguri there. Oh, he loves that Enziguri. It looks as if taking Big Red out of the picture is taking all out of Joey Marcus. He looks like he's got no energy. He looks like he's gone to bed. He's, he's having a sleep on the, on the turn. Of oh. And Ashton Lever has eliminated James Reed. Surely the odds are in Ashton Lever's favour here. Yeah, Joey they've Marcus got to be. I mean, they've got Chambers at ringside. Marcus is dead and as we know now since it's the last two this will be decided there pinfall or submission so has, has, has Marcus got anything left uh, it looks as if he's running on low running on fumes Mason Toon there's nothing left Ashton Lover looks much fresher than uh, Joey Marcus so. oh, oh wait a minute oh huge spine buster and that took everything but there could be something left. Oh, oh what is he going for? People's elbow? Big elbow drop there, Mason Toombs. I think Marcus has had his second win. He's having his second win, of course, Mason Toombs. He's going for something big here. Oh, oh and a big, big bikini bottom, I believe it's called. Well, yeah, he would be. And a kick out there for Ashton Lover. Ashton. I thought that would have done it. Maybe you'll just keel hold him out the ring and then Marxist will be our new number one contender. Maybe, maybe. Of course, Joey Marcus has, both of these men have had a shot at the last title before. They have, unsuccessfully. Unsuccessfully. But you know, oh, what's this now? He's going for a power driver here. He's, he's finishing move as such. Big strike there to the back of Joey Marcus. Oh, what's this? Oh, nasty. Is that an overdriver? An overdriver. Going to the pin. Them. One. And Ashton Lover is our new number one contender for the oh. CCW Welsh Champion. You know, we should have expected that. We did think that Marcus could take it at the last minute, but but no, he was just, just didn't have enough. Very unfortunate there for Joey Marcus. He must be disappointed. But Ashton Lover, again, he's getting another chance at the CCW Welsh Championship Dick Chambers over the moon his client some other is now the number one contender he could what's he got to say for himself he could 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 he Stall over there, looks a bit like Jimmy Big, wouldn't you say? I would say so. You know, this is a little bit light. I know, it's a bit dark. Yeah, that was weird. But the dark match has already been, it's not another dark match, surely. Yeah, you couldn't have a dark match. Well, the light seemed to. This issue with the light seems to resolve itself, that was very strange. Oh, 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 wait, what's going on? What's that music making to us? No, I don't recognise it. I don't recognise it either. Who could it possibly be? I mean, we have said that there have been a number of debuts here tonight. Well, who's, who's that? This? Who's that? Well, we've had some strange messages being sent to the CCW, so the Fusion. <laughs> Not the Fusion. <laughs> they, they sent it to the old email address. <laughs> and the Fusion Pro uh, accounts, the social media accounts, and, and you know, this could be from from the man, the Wyvern. The Wyvern? It couldn't possibly be the Wyvern, could it? Who I mean, else could it be? 
He's got the stick, hasn't he? Mad Gareth, I don't think so. <laughs> Mad Gareth. This is some bongo from the Conga. Who knows, who knows? He can drink it for wherever he likes. We need to get people in here because our director's in trouble. I'd like to back up. Like to back up. Quite scary there, doesn't he, Mason Teams? Ashton Lover with a plastic prop. I don't think that will <laughs> do any damage, to be honest. The only person not scared here is, is Keith Raff, photographer, getting in close with some, some, some photographs there. Luke's back just to see what's going on. Wyvern. Oh. This is the first time that we've seen the Wyvern, Mason Teams. We need to get people in there to help out, get some security. He look, looks like he means business. Oh, he's got a stick. A big stick in here. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, big strike there. Oh, I've got to say, I'm, I'm a little frightened. I'm frightened indeed. Hopefully he doesn't come up here. I hope All not. the officials now. Oh, oh, big strike there to a refs. Please, someone come out and get him. There, everyone's down. Oh, what's... Oh, big stomp to the head there. We need to get security. Someone to come and get him. I, th I think we'll be on this now. Attacking our officials here. He's got a problem with Dick Chambers, our director of wrestling. Oh, oh, he does. Ashton Lover staying on the outside there, smart again, not wanting to get involved. Dick Chambers is at ringside, so, you know, Joe Marx is going to have to have eyes in the back of his head. As we saw earlier, sometimes even having an ally at ringside isn't enough. They're well versed, the distinction. Oh, just a psych out here. Look at this. Dick Chambers just getting involved. Joey, Joey Market just hit him. The referee needs to. I know technically Dick Chambers is the boss, but the ref really needs to just send him back, send him out from ringside. He's got no right to be out here. A match between two professional athletes that Chambers shouldn't be getting involved. Joe Marcus, Colin Elbow here, side head like here from Dougie Matthews, just wrenching on that head and neck. Joe Marcus shoves him off into the ropes, big shoulder block, neither man moved. Stalemate here between the two. Oh! That pirate hook shoved away. Stuck him again with that pyro hook. Oh, big knee strike to the midsection. Another pyro hook. Stamps on the foot. Dougie Matthews was just about to get belligerent. Oh my goodness, what a suplex. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Incredible suplex out of nowhere. It's like a capture suplex that time. Joey Marcus and again that technical ability the power wrestling ability combining there Joey Marcus staying on Dougie Matthews slams that head into the apron and look at this Dick Chambers getting hands on here oh Dougie Matthews from behind shoves Joey Marcus into that ring post and that is brutal he caught that jaw first and he is stunned as a result look at this Look at this, our oh, big jabs here. Mark and uh, from Dougie Matthews even. Just shoves him unceremoniously into the ring under that bottom rope. Oh dear, we've seen a lot of this from the distinction today. Dick Chambers so effective. Oh, running shooting star, press out of nowhere. One, two, that is incredible for Dougie Matthews. And he is frustrated that he didn't pick up the win from that. Absolute firework of a move there, driving that knee in. Right, he's just, uh... Oh, look at this, just driving that foot in. Right into, look at the state of Joe. Joe Marcus just catches one from uh, Dick Chambers, honestly. Honestly, that clipboard just striking Joe Marcus when he was prone. Big boots there from. Dougie Matthews, they're a well oiled machine, the distinction. They're such a dangerous outfit. And so much of that, of that is down to the tactics and interference of Dick Chambers, the director of wrestling, the smartest man in wrestling today. 
Oh, he's, he's running all the way into the turnbuckle. Joe Marcus trips him up. Here's a cover. One, two. Shoulders down. But it was only a two count. Oh, wow. Daniel Matthews did not enjoy that. And look at this. Ferocity unloading now. And Joe Marcus, look at the state of him. And oh, no. Dick Chambers again involved. Again involved. I mean, we almost need like linesmen in wrestling to stop this sort of thing. We need assistant referees. We need VAR. Dare I say it? Never thought I'd say that. Oh my goodness. Wow. What an Irish rip. Here's a cover. One, two. Two count only. Two is eternal credit. Joey Marcus, the Prince of Pirates, manages to kick out of that. But look at the tone it's taken on his back. Confab here. Crowd getting under the skin. Debbie Matthews. Massive stomps here. Big strike. Snap there out of the corner. Oh, big forearm. Jumping forearm to the back of the head. Here's another cover. One, two. Debbie Matthews, just the two count. Uh, none of the distinction happy with the, the counting there but to me it's illegal big strike there from Joe Marcus another one open palm strike to the midsection winding him surely oh look at this rolling neck breaker my goodness jumping rolling neck breaker here's a couple one two again Joe Marcus somehow against all the odds kicking out here he's really under the cash but he's doing so well to stay in this match Dougie Matthews again not happy with the count. You can see Dick Chambers there, just telling him to get on with it. And uh, he's trying to break the hook finger. Oh, look at how he's bending that arm and finger. It's brutal sadism here. For Dougie Matthews. Just trying to break that hook finger. That's awful. There's no big tactical advantage to this. Other than just sadism, other than trying to hurt the guy. But he's back to his feet here. Oh, incredibly, he managed to twist that finger round and round. But it looks like Joey Marcus is doing the spinning there. Oh, man. Felt a lot of good that finger destroying tactic worked. It didn't. Joey Marcus is trying his best to fight back here. Oh, wow. Belly to back suplex, plants him in the middle of the ring. That is incredible. And Joey Marcus, the Prince of Pirates. Oh, that could be all she wrote, you know. Oh, two count only. Dougie Matthews has enough in the tank. He will stand there just about. But that's incredible resilience from Joey Marcus to fight back from that cascade of moves there from Dougie Matthews. Fly back for two power moves of his own. Charges in again. With a big back elbow, back shoulder strike. A kick to midsection. Going for that double underhook. Oh my goodness. He's going to plant him here. Oh wow. That compressed pile driver drop one, two. Oh come on, ref. You can see that he saw. He could. I mean, how could he miss the Dick Chambers? Just reached in in front of him and grabbed his leg. It's cheating of the lowest order. It's brazen cheating here from Dick Chambers. He puts Dougie Matthews' foot on the rope and the referee is forced to stop the count. And Joe Marcus has to go again here. He probably should have won the match there. And he should be celebrating right now with a victory. Chambers just again cycling his man out, giving him that energy. Tactical advice, no doubt. Joe Marcus is up though, big strike to the midsection. He's going for that finisher again. Oh, but Dougie Matthews ducks underneath it. Spins him around. Oh my goodness. He nearly took his head off with that clothesline. Look at how he's left Joe Marcus in the ring. He's going for that cover. That could be all she wrote. One, two, it is all she wrote. Dougie Matthews picks up the victory here. Joey Marcus is defeated, but that should not be the case. Again, for the third match in a row, Dick... Yeah, something like that.
TikToking this whole thing. TikToking, yes. Yes, indeed. Look at the size of that. That is massive. And she is small. Yeah, really. She, I can't tell whether he's just really tall or he's actually really close to us. Oh, 
playing around with it. Oh, he's got it. Huge slam. Dick Chambers just cheering on. Just cheering on this. And again. People lifting their breaking the three count. Oh, nothing. But again, she gets to her feet. People expected that punch to have much strength in it, but he no. did. Oh, look at this. What's he going for here? It's not going to be good. Oh, no, wait a minute. He's grabbing hold of his leg, so he can't lift her up. Smart move. Going after good so Let's go for it again. So pushed him off and then pushed him off. Perhaps. People started to tire. She escapes. You know, doing all these these big moves does take a lot out of you. Taking and giving makes a difference. Definitely. Liam Hunter there in the corner. Showing the support from Harry Hudson. to go for that big suplex on the side. To do something bigger. But yeah. Harley Hudson is fighting out of it. Oh. That's what they call it, high risk. Hot oh. spotted there, caught by Creeper. Wait a minute. She's fighting out Already. of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll go for another pitiful one. Could this be it? No. Close. This yes, seems close. Oh. Second win, third Look win, this, century, really, third win. Just really catching him in the face. Those kicks to the chest. Drop oh, kicks in. Drop kicks in. Yep. No, no. Nice teams. Take, oh, but now he's got her. Oh, oh kick to the face. Kick, yeah. Took him in, knocked him out. That's the most I think we've seen off the all match. Oh, she's letting strike there to the kidneys. Pokes are in the eye. Pokes. Sometimes you can be as big as you like, but the simple moves are the ones that just poke you in the eye. It's just poke you right in them. Grabbing her by the hair. It's tough to say from the people. I say it's just. Oh, big slap in. there. He's not happy about that. And the ref trying to get in between. And he's just pushed the ref out the way. Oh! oh and a big kick by Harley Hudson. Right to the balls. Well, Mason Toomes, the tallest man in the world, in the universe, yeah. has got to have giant balls. And then you get if you get kicked in your giant balls, you know, it's got to hurt in a giant way. More to hit, let me tell you. These guys are outside the what ring. Does oh, wait a minute. Leon Hunter Leon have a big strike from Leon Hunter. Something in his hand, oh. Mason Toombs. What's he got? He's got handcuffs. Handcuffs. He's just punched Dick Chambers out the way. Get off him. Oh. Another big punch. What's he doing? Oh, he's handcuffed him to the ring. He's really getting a key name to get it locked. The creeper. He's not able to do anything. Perhaps he's, he's got a, a, a formidable opponent here, Neil Hunter. But yeah, maybe. We could see these two go ahead against one another at some point, I'm sure. Creeper is now. He's creeper stuck. He's stuck. He's handcuffed. And the referee. And Neil Hunter taunting for our photographer. And you know what? It's, I think the referee, since you know, Creeper pushed him, he's perfectly happy to let this go ahead. And he's just rung the bell. That's it. Creeper has lost this match. The winner of the match is Harley Hudson. By Wayne Cotton. And he's still stuck on Hancock.
Uh, Aligned himself with Jay Shelley and well, let's see what happens here. This is going to be a cracking match here. It's Fusion Pro and okay. Civil War. Alfie Brooks versus Crimson Chaos. Put this crowd getting right into it here. Crowd chanting for Alfie. What does this do? Oh, it's just oh. a shove. Just a shove. Disrespect. Oh, have some of that. Oh, look at this, just trading blows here. Ducks underneath the clothesline. Massive drop kick from Alfie Brooks, and he sends Grimson Cow sprawling. Oh, my holy lord, the crowd are going to get a hit. Oh, wow! Oh, my holy lord! What a start to this match. Right into the fans at ringside. Alfie Brooks, he could have wiped out half the fans of this arena with that. Shoves him into the ropes. Ducks over. Ducks underneath. This is electric. Kayla. Oh, oh it's just over. Lovely hit stun. Flicks up. Oh, what a drop kick. From the infinitely talented Alfie Brooks. He goes to the cover one. Two. That's a two. Two only Mason Toons. Where are you going here, Nelson? Right, Toons. What? Who is your pick for this match? You know what? It's impossible to say. Both of these guys, they're amazing. They are amazing. Oh, oh, big knee, big knee there to Alfie Brooks, the midsection, and that slowed him down. Yeah, well, if you want to stop a high fly, you put him on the floor, Nelson. Absolutely, that makes sense. Look at this, he's stomping the mud hole. Oh, and he's in pain. Stomping the life out of Alfie, Alfie Brooks. Look at the pain he's in now. Oh, he's choking him. Chaos, wow, what for me, had to really intervene that time. He's, he's really did. Incredible. The tenacity of Crimson Chaos. I mean, oh, lovely snap there. Oh, and a huge kick to the back. I mean, you tell me too. I've not been on the end of one of those, thank God. I don't intend to be, but what's that like receiving one of those? Well, it's kind of similar to being kicked in the back, Nelson. That's a fair point. Again, never had that experience, but maybe some of our fans have. It's hoping for more exposition from you there. European Africa from Alfie Brooks. Goes into the, oh, he just telegraphed that a little bit. Crimson Chaos cuts him off. Charges in now. Oh, what a European uppercut. I mean, my, my money, I think, maybe has to be on Chaos as a former tech champion. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, wow. Round Rumble winner. Brooks, yeah. is, we've seen the Brooks a few times, but we've not really seen all that much from him. Yeah, it's true. Crimson Chaos, like him or loathe him, he's got a pedigree. And uh, he's a, a, a classy wrestler. He can brawl, he can do the high flying stuff, he can do it all really. And Alfie Brooks is just finding that out. Oh, what a shot! He ate the Woo! Shot. Yeah, he did. You okay? Yeah, sorry, just didn't mean to touch you like that. <laughs> sorry. And a big slam. I assume. Oh. No, I just like thought it was a slam. Yeah, you were right with that one. Good predictions there, Mason 2. is massive. Suspended, your back. suspended scoops down there. Comes up the ropes. Oh, flying elbow that time. Look at this, he goes to the combo, is that enough? Two count only, Alfie yes. Brooks. Look at the crowd here, they're really getting into Alfie Brooks. Look at this noise. Big hits here, this is slugging it out, big knee. From chaos, big European cut. Big hit to the stomach. Comes off the opposing turn, buckle charges in on his wrist. Brooks, Brooks out of the way. Up onto the middle row. Oh, big clumps to the top of the head. Crimson Chaos. Oh, he ducks underneath. Yanks the leg out. Oh, my holy lord. Chaos. Oh, massive running leg. Nothing. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's definitely what he wants. A big running leg. Nothing elegant about it. Just caught him with his leg. Brooks is doing well right now to stay in this room. Well, Brooks has done a lot of heart, and you can't take that away from him without some sort of operation. Yeah, that's right. Or oh, some sort of Kali Ma. Kali Ma indeed. Yes. Poor old Indy. Yeah, poor Indy indeed. Oh, look at this. That real character, you know? Yeah, not the race. Oh, wow. I mean, Alfie Brooks takes the punishment here for Prince of Chaos. And he's still in it, though. He is he's still, in, still it. in it. He is still in it. And infinite credit to him. I've got to say, I like Alfie Brooks' tights. I love a pink type. Yeah. 
Oh! 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 What's he going for here? What's he going for? Oh! Dumps, oh. Him, dumps him! Over! Oh, he blocks the hit! Oh. End of the oh. oh. Big knee from Alfie Brooks! He flicks his way into the room! What is Brooks going for now? Oh. He's reversed into the room! Oh. Whoa! Wow! He's kicking the face! He's missing some teeth! Yeah, definitely! Crimson Chaos is gonna be out! He's gonna have some dental work at one! Two! Oh! Two only! Alfie Brooks so close, Mason Teams. Crowd respond here to Alfie Brooks. What is he going for here? He's putting it all on the line. He's going middle rope. That's the middle rope. Oh, oh wow. He catches him. Oh, the power. Oh. He's going up on his shoulders. This is his finisher. Oh, it's over. That could be it. That's got to be it. Grims of Chaos, one, two. Oh my oh, holy no. lord! Two! He just kicked out of his finisher! Can you believe it? I cannot. I've not seen many people kick out. I don't think I've seen anyone kick out of that before. Alfie Brooks. Look at this. Criminal Chaos just letting the fans get to him a little bit here. Oh, he's going for his finisher! Oh, he's ducked underneath! What's he got? Reverse left. Oh, reverse underneath. Massive. Oh, wow. Big Yuri takes him off his feet. Wow, massive kick to the side of the head. Can you believe it, Nelson? He's turned it around, Alfie Brooks. Completely. Go for a cover. One. Is that three? Oh. No. So close. Brooks. Brooks getting charged up here. He's energizing on full battery. He's waiting for Chaos to get to his feet. What's he going for here? Charges in over his fist. Oh, what's this? Oh, wow, my holy lord, he could have killed him. Here's the cover. One. Oh, it's over. Holy lord. What a finisher from Crimson Chaos. That was an outrageous finish. Did you see the way Alfie Brooks' his neck bent backwards? My holy lord, how is he moving? That was a real lift. And the distinction are out there. Jeez. <laughs> oh, paradox. Ryan Lloyd, oh my goodness. Mr. No Fear Ryan Lloyd. Look at this. It's like a war zone out here. There's just fighting happening all over the arena now. Big Red has got. RJ Silver is that? Oh my goodness, I can't even see from his vantage point. Dougie Mathis gets sent into the ring post. Big chuck on Creeper from Connor Klein. Two big men going out there. Oh, Big Red seems to have turned it around there on uh, RJ Silver. Oh, just sent into the crowd, into the chairs there. Big Red is a monster, by the way. Big sidekick from Ryan Lloyd. Catches Dougie Matthews. Big headbutt there. Big Red. Oh, getting double teamed here from RJ Silver and Ryan Lloyd. Meanwhile, kind of kind of creeper on the other side of the ring going at it. Andy Knox has Dick Chambers in a headlock, something we'd all love to do. This is just absolutely manic. And I don't know, the ref is alone in the ring right now. <laughs> this match is intense. I don't know, has this match even started yet? Look at this double team on Big Red from uh, RJ Silver and Ryan Lloyd. Kind of kind just dumps Dougie Matthews into the ring and uh, we have two people in the ring finally and it's starting to take shape this match it's brilliant Dougie Matthews RJ Silver tried the hip toss but reversed into an arm drag big drop kick there from Silver Dougie Matthews in trouble here big strike what a kick he like stretched Armstrong his leg into the face of Creeper there that was brilliant from Silver Wow, here's a cover. This match could be over. Ooh, two count only. Over before it really started, almost. Well, I don't know if our ring is strong enough to contain all of this. There are some huge guys out here. Oh, Andy Knox. Oh, look at this. He's just. Oh, that's brilliant. Sunset flip, leg drop. 
Knox with a cover one, two. Dougie Matthews in a bit of trouble here, but Dougie Matthews, brilliant wrestler, no question. By Lloyd into the ring now. Oh, big hit to the stomach, held open by, by Knox that time. Missed an old fear right in the face of uh, the distinction there. One fan singing there. I admire him. I love that all our wrestlers start to hear what I'm singing as well. It was an important moment in this match. Paradox well on top here. Dougie Matthews in real trouble. Here's a couple. One, two. I'm still amazed that Dick Chambers is actually choosing to wrestle in this match. It's crazy. Big kick from RJ Silver there. Kind of climb, setting him up. Sinks him up. Oh, Matthews eats a suplex from RJ Silver. One. Two count only. Matthews doing well to stay in this match. Power that's well on top here. Andy Knox tagged in now. What have they got in mind for this? Runs in. Ooh, stunning. European uppercut. And another one. Running European uppercut. And he runs in. These two. Oh, wow. What a drop kick. And just a running stomp to the face. Dougie Matthews is out, my goodness. That was a brutal bit of offense here from Paradox. Just about kicks out. Dougie Matthews needs to make the tag. He's got Dick Chambers just within arm's reach if he can reach. Crowd chanting for Ryan Lloyd. Oh, wait a minute. Matthews catches him. Big hit to the midsection. And this is Dougie Matthews looking far and back. Look at this, he's taken such punishment at the hands of Paradox, but he's managed to battle his way back to his corner. And he tags in the big man, the monster, Creeper. Look at the toll it's taken on Dougie Matthews. <clears throat> and this is real bad news. For Andy Knox. Because he's in the Distinctions corner, and he's in the ring with Creeper. Who's the embodiment of evil and sadism. Charges in Creeper, oh my goodness, like a freight train. My goodness. Just ran into him, absolutely flattened him, took the air out of his lungs. Standing over the neck now. Creeper, that's nasty. Creeper's the size of a lamppost. Absolutely huge guy. Stand to that into the big red boot. He makes the tag, the big red's in there. <clears throat> He's substituting for G-Force, which is really interesting. Where's G-Force today? Snapmare from Creeper, big kick. Big red comes off the ropes. Oh, just a sent on. That's like a meteorite landing on you. Big red, absolutely, absolute colossus. In days gone by, he would have been a gladiator. They would have had statues out here outside the Coliseum somewhere in Rome. Absolute monster. And Knox is in big trouble here. Oh, big driving knee. Look at him bending him backwards over his knee. Pulling him by the nose. That's awful from Big Red. You can hear Knox just screaming with that. That was nasty. Big back elbow from Big Red. Irish whip sends him with velocity into that opposite tender thing. And that was the move. Sending a flying there, it's got knocked by the hair. Referee's done well to keep this match fairly legal. Knox trying to fire back for Big Red to splatter him. And oh my holy lord, something I've never seen in professional wrestling. Dick Chambers comes in, massive strike to the top of Andy Knox's head. And that's his job done for the day. Just tags out, creepers back in. Oh, big strike. Ah, oh, just, a, just a big hip thrust there from Creeper. It's like being hit by a 4 by 4 I'm really sure the crowd chances for Ryan Lowe. Ryan Lowe's hopping on the ring apron. He's eager to get into this. Chanting for Paradox. Crowd here. Creeper comes off. Massive clothesline. Just struck like a viper at the minute. 
just at the last minute. Brilliant. Look at this. It's just the referee desperately trying to keep Paradox out of the ring. But that's not what Andy Knox needs because he's in the wrong part of town. Oh, big kick from Cooper. And Paradox so eager to get into his ring. That should do a disservice to Andy Knox, allowing the distinction to uh, work him over a bit in their corner. Dick Chambers makes the tag again. I can't believe the front of the man. Creeper holds him open. Oh, knife edge chop. What? Actually, good tag team work for Dick Chambers. I can't believe it. Comes in, makes a strike. Here's W. Matthews there. Dougie Matthews. He's like a viper. So quick with his strikes. And he knocks him in the ring a long time now. Referee just trying to get him out of the ropes and Dougie Matthews obeys that in the final moment of that count. I can't believe this rivalry has grown up between these two wonderful teams. Oh my goodness, capture suplex, that was brilliant. He's cover one, two. Oh goodness me, Dougie Matthews so close. Creeper tagged in now. Commanding Max, my goodness, he's taking some punishment here. Irish whip for Creeper sends Knox in. Catches him. Oh, backbreaker. Really nasty. Really nasty. One, two, just use the momentum against him to drop him down across his, backwards across his knee. Absolutely awful. Creeper makes a tag and Big Red is in. Andy Knox is in serious trouble. Oh, what are they doing? They're going to give him the bumps here. Oh, they really did. Slammed him down. Two absolute delights. Throwing the man down to the mat. I have to say, the distinction of complete control at the moment. Dick Chambers again getting into the ring. He loved this. Oh, big kick to the face. That's just disrespect. He's not a wrestler, Dick Chambers. I mean, he's in there wrestling, but... He's a boardroom guy. You know, he's, look at this man, he knocks firing back on Creeper of all people. Wow. After the punishment he's taken, this is real hard from Andy Knox. Comes off the ropes. Where has this come from? Oh, Creeper picks him up. He manages to square him over the shoulder. Chucks him in, makes a tag. Here's Roy Lloyd. Roy Lloyd with the European uppercut. That is brilliant. Another one, and Creeper's down. That's incredible. And he's just, he's just destroyed the whole entire distinction team. Oh, big kick. Creeper's down. Ryan Lloyd stands tall. Andy Knox did brilliantly to make the tag just to stay in this match. Snap there out of the corner from Ryan Lloyd. Big kick, big shin strike to the back. Ryan Lloyd is imperious when he's in this mood. Oh, big red grabs him by the shoulder though. These two go face to face and Creeper uses that opportunity to just drive a strike into Ryan Lloyd's back. Big red did brilliantly then to just get Ryan Lloyd to take his eye off the ball picks him up oh my goodness what are these two Goliaths doing massive clothesline into a slam from Big Red cover one two ooh I have to say Big Red's a substitute for G-Force but he's fitted so well into the distinction I wonder if uh, they might just sign him up anyway yeah sniper here Big Red Ryan Lloyd firing back, big hits to the side, oh big forearm strike, and again, giving it everything, Ryan Lloyd, oh, oh, oh wow, Big Red just swatted Ryan Lloyd like a gorilla swat to Mosquito, my goodness, he just, he could have killed him with that, that was brutal, my goodness, the power in that man's arms, Dougie Matthews winds up with a big slap, and Ryan Lloyd still hasn't recovered from that one massive hit from Big Red. Good this one. Big strikes here. Dougie Matthews. This match has been incredible. It's Fusion Pro Show with Show Fest. It's the distinction versus paradox. And Dougie Matthews and Ryan Lloyd in the ring right now. Snap out of the corner. Oh, lovely. European left it to the back of the head. Somehow. Here's a cover. Two. Two only from Dougie Matthews. 
Crowd chanting paradise. Um, this is brilliant. Ryan Lloyd fires back. Got him up on the shoulders. Dougie Matthews squirms out. Big kick to the midsection. Oh, lovely swinging net breaker. Rolling swinging net breaker. Here's a cover one. Two. Two only. Ryan Lloyd does well just to maintain some sort of knowledge of where he is in the ring, really. He's trying to make the tag at the last minute. Dick Chambers. Dougie Matthews holding Ryan Lloyd open. Oh, just there. Just, just drilled that fist right into the nose and the eyes. Oh, did he have a foreign object there? That's interesting. The referee was checking. Checking Dick Chambers. Now, I wouldn't put it past him at all. That's exactly the sort of thing. What is he doing there? He's just he's scraping his face there. He's trying to say he's got nothing in his hand. Oh dear. Dick Chambers in the wrong part of town now. Because Roy Lloyd is firing back. Incredibly, Dick Chambers cuts him off. Gets him in the side headlock. Creeper makes the tag. You know what? Maybe I've been doing Dick Chambers a disservice. He's actually been pretty, uh, pretty solid in this match. Incredibly. Creeper sends Ryloid in with a massive Irish whip, but Ryloid gets the foot up. So, oh, he was going for the top rope, but Creeper's got him by the neck. Oh my holy lord, what is Creeper going for here? He's got Ryloid perched on that top rope. I don't know if our ring can take this, let alone Ry Lloyd's body. He's going for that superplex. Ry Lloyd managed to hold it off. He's managing to just stay on it. Oh, he's firing back. They're teetering on the edge here, both men. Ryan Lloyd does brilliantly to fire back. Big forearm shots. Creeper rocking on that middle rope. Oh, man, that is crazy. Ryan Lloyd. He's summoning some sort of elemental energy on that turnbuckle. I don't know where he gets his from. On the top rope now, Ryan Lloyd, Creeper's on the floor, oh what a frog splash, what a hit from the top rope from Ryan Lloyd, Creeper has been stunned there, that is crazy, Ryan Lloyd, he's got so much heart, Mr. No Fear, Ryan Lloyd, oh my goodness, what is going to happen next in this match, Paradox versus The Distinction. Creeper's trying to make a tag and he does. Oh, and does, so does Roy Lloyd. Kind of climbs in. Dougie Matthews. Oh, lovely. Release German suplex. It's brilliant. Big forearm shot. And kind of Clyde is in. Big Red trying to cut him off. Clyde cuts underneath. Big forearm shots and chops. Oh, look at this combination. Excellent. Kind of Klein. Oh, double drop kick there. Brilliant. Just catch him. Klein's taking control of this match. And Paradox are in and in charge. Dougie Matthews in the wrong place. Oh, lovely. Suplex there from uh, Klein. Ryan Lloyd, what is he going for? I know what he's thinking. I know Ryan Lloyd. Paradox owning the ring here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What? No. Ryan Lloyd. Oh, a suicide dive over the top rope. Oh my holy lord, he's like a human tsunami. He just killed everyone outside the room. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. RJ Silver's on a top rope. What on earth is he thinking about? RJ Silver. Oh no. Oh, Monsa off the top rope. Oh my holy lord. What? This is insane. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Dougie Matthews, meanwhile, he managed to escape all of that somehow. He's in the middle of the ring. He's just taken out Connor Klein. He's going up to the top rope himself. Oh my goodness. He's on the top rope. Oh, lovely. Plancher off the top rope from Dougie Matthews. He's abs took a high risk. My goodness, look at the damage he's done to Dougie Matthews. Connor Klein. He's the only man standing. He was going to go to the top row, teasing the crowd. Big Red trying to get in his face. Eats a forearm. Klein just chucks Dougie Matthews back into the ring. And this match is nuts. I don't know what's going to happen next. 
He signals that it's over. Klein with the suplex. Brainbuster, my holy lord. Dropped him down, but Creepers managed to get back into the ring. Grabs him by the neck. Picks him up. Oh, what a choke slam. RJ Silver, super kick to the shin. Oh, knee strike to the face. Reverse kick to the face as well. That's brilliant from RJ Silver, but he needs to turn around in a hurry because Big Red. Oh, my goodness, look at the power of Red. Dropped him on his head, Tombstone. Oh, he's going to need some sort of... Oh, wait a minute. And he knocks. Oh, what a, what a plancher from the top rope on Big Red. And now it's Dick Chambers' turn, surely. Chambers, top rope, no. <laughs> what is Dick Chambers going to do? He manages to get back into the ring here. And he's going for Big Red. He's just trying to get Big Red back to his feet. Where's his team gone? The team have wiped out Dick Chambers. You can hear what the crowd think of this. Dick Chambers, you're in big trouble, mate. Oh, double super kick. Oh, my holy lord. He's going to need new pants. Paradox having back up. Connor Klein. Oh, what a clothesline. And honestly, this is... <laughs> he deserves this, but he doesn't deserve this at the same time because he's not a wrestler. <laughs> Ryan Lloyd on the top row. Paradox, if you're going to get in the ring and pretend to be a wrestler, this is the danger. Ryan Lloyd. Oh, what a senton. That is brilliant. One, two, three. That's it. That's all she wrote. Dick Chambers eats it from Paradox. The distinction of lost. Paradox pick up the win here. Fusion Pro. Show me your face. <laughs> <laughs>